Welcome back. This is part three of Battle Sector. Welcome, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, if, you, if you haven't sort of seen this before, um, we're like and look. Do you need to watch the whole uh, the whole other two hours worth? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> uh, we're sort of in the final battle now, basically. This is this has really improved. This game has improved out of sight. Really is a quite amazing uh, what it actually has done. Now, if we just press on P, we can just go through all of the different units. So I was uh, playing this one yesterday, and so I'm just sort of coming back in again now. To and so I'm, not, I'm just having a quick look when, as I'm sort of cycling through. I'm just seeing who's still got their action points left. Um, I mean, still got their movement points left in through here as well. If I just press P, I think we're going to cycle through the whole lot. Actually, yeah, we're, we're cycling through the whole lot here. That's okay. And then across to the right hand side. So we've got like a um, we're inside the um, essentially the the main area of the of the uh, Adeptus Sororitas, which are the um, the sisters of battle, and so this is sort of like this is the final battle against them. Now they're weaker than us at this stage. We've been able to sort of destroy them to a large extent. Uh, so they're sort of coming in from the outside edge. We've got battle sisters coming out through this other side. We've got Arco Flagellants in through this other side, in through here as well. More battle sisters, and we're going to mainly see the. This is mainly what we're going to be seeing on as we actually sort of play this one. And then we're sort of stuck down in these in these sort of areas uh, with our Necron forces coming through into the main area. We have to get and control four different zones ultimately. Four different. Um, where are they? There's one there. Uh, there'll be another one over here. Another one at the back end over this other side. So we need to sort of control those those into there. I think there's one at the back as well, back over this way somewhere. Is it there somewhere? She can't see it. Where is it? There's one there. Okay, that's the one I think. No, that's different again. No, that's the, yeah, it's one there, one there. That's right. One over here, and then we, that's what we have to go and get. So anyway, welcome, and um, we'll just continue on through. So now what I want to do is, I like the movement has been mainly sort of coming from the middle, back through this side. There's a lot more on this left-hand side. So let's just go and wipe out what we can um, from these different groups. The Tomb Blades did get a shot through here. Now we've got a 67% there, which isn't too bad. Um, where is the, where's their best... The best angle is across that way. So we've just got a sneaky little look back up through there. It's not very accurate up there through that side there. Um, God, it's hard to uh, hard to get the exact angle that we're looking for here. Let's just do it this way. Just have a bit of a look. So we can get a shot. I can get a reasonable shot there. And what I want to do is I want to come in, take a shot, and then bounce back away again. And then if we just sort of... Uh, have a look over this other side. So we can now see that there's other other um, battle sisters back this way. We get a 79% chance now to get the shots, and we're probably going to see other groups. There's not that many actually. There's only one in the middle there that we're really sort of seeing. So let's go and uh, start firing at these. Now we've done some damage to some of these, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, that one there. So we'll just do the shot, and we're getting splash damage across the others that was a good yeah it was a good round actually good really good shot with these tomb blades these um do incredibly well so um anyway we killed off a lot of what they actually had through there uh they're still taking damage they've taken taken a bit of damage and we'll just move down again so we can just move this one out of the way so we're just going to move this one and then just have it so that it's pointing back in the other side uh, now the other thing is they're going to keep on coming towards us. The, the game, as, like as I've been sort of saying in the rest of the um, of the series, then it's not super clever um, in what it actually does do. So what I think we'll do here is just I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of where we should actually move. I'm almost tempted to just stay where I am and uh, let let them sort of come towards me. I've got warriors there. I'll keep the warriors a bit more sort of internally, I think. And we, but the immortals have got incredible splash damage. Um, so we'll leave them. She might even move the hexmark destroyer up to there. And I want it to sort of point back out this other side. 
So it, it will ultimately then have a, a bit of a look across the other side there. This one in here, I'll move up to here and just have it sort of face the, the, the front. We've got this one facing the front as well. Now, I don't know if I want them to be looking through this gap. So I might just come back to these and actually designate exactly what we do want to be targeting. So if I, this is going to be where I actually do set up my, my attacks. So I will actually attack where I look out this other side. So let's just go across to there and just right click. That way they will actually only target that one. I'll just press the O key again and do the same thing back in through there. So anything that moves into there will be, will be targeted. I'll leave these to target that particular angle through there, which they won't do too much. The death marks are like our snipers. So we'll move them back this way. And um, I will do an, I will do an uh, actual over, overview there as well. Again, you can sort of see I can ultimately hit back there as well. Um, but if I go this side, I, I sort of avoid that other, that other angle. I might do that, I think. Let's just, let's just hit the middle. That way, anything that comes around the corner will then sort of target. This one here, I will actually leave this one where it is. So that one can just stay where it actually is. Uh, we do have target optimization. I won't do that one just yet. And then, as I say, this one we've brought back in behind. Now, we've got the through the center here, there's, we're not seeing too much. There are battle sisters and there are uh, arco flagellants back and through this other side as well. So we've got flayed ones, which are not going to really do much. The immortals here would be good, and the triac praetorians would be good. I think what I'll do is I might just keep them back. And we might just move the uh, the flayed ones back in, away from the from the front. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I was just thinking it might pretty, it could have been handy to have had them up that way. Let's just move these up. And there, that's outside of the range. Uh, we'll just go and press the uh, Overwatch key, and we'll Overwatch across into there. So that will be okay. That then just leaves a couple of the flayed ones, which are more sort of melee type type fighters. Then we do actually have these. Now I'm thinking I will actually start to move these up because we're not seeing much from the other side. Yeah, there's nothing really coming this way. Let's just go back to this other side so we can just pick and choose what we've actually got. Now, I'm going to move this one back across this other side. So let's just move this one over so we can sort of have a bit of a look around. See if it actually identifies anyone. I don't. I can do it little step by little step. It, it's there's no there's no limitation on anything that we're doing. I'll leave that one there uh, at this point in time. This one I do want this one to come through, and we will get a shot. If I go to say here, I mean there, there should be more up this other side anyway. Let's just move up to there to start with. There they are. There they are. So we've got a 41%, we've got a 52% down through there. And um, yeah, I don't want to do too much with this. Let's just go with the 52 at this stage. It's maybe a little bit, yeah, it'll, we'll do it here. Okay, we're getting a bit of splash damage, not much. Not much. These these aren't that great, so we'll just move that across there. I mean, they're good, um, but they're just not great against those sort of units. Then we have warriors, which will move on up. Uh, might leave that one towards the middle. Let's just leave those that way. These are more immortals. Now, the immortals uh, really do have a, a incredible damage that they can then go and do. So we'll go and leave them that way as well. More warriors. I can put the warriors out in front, which we'll, I think we'll do. And more immortals here as well. Now, if I don't give them explicit orders for Overwatch, they will just go to their maximum range. And I think that I, what I prefer to do here will be to milk, uh, like to be very explicit. So if we press O, um, I do get a I do get a slight chance through there, but I think that I prefer. To, looks like they're all going to be um, these are all going to be flagellants, which means that this mainly going to be uh, they're going to be mainly melee troops. So I think we'll actually go that way with this one. Just press the O key. Yeah, that one's going to be okay there. I think I'll leave the others where they are. 
Now we've got the uh, Scorpec Destroyer, which um, I can move that one up to there. I might actually just move it into this location. Just get it ready. And we then have our another death mark, one of our long range units. And I will again just give it explicit orders to fire. So just press O and fire across here. All right, now through the middle, we've got the Lich Guard. So th these will be a bit more of a target. Let's just move these up slightly. We have an Overlord as well. So I will actually move the Overlord up and just let it do its own thing. But more Death Marks. Bring that one across. That one's probably not going to get a shot, actually, where that is. Now we've got the Locust Heavy Destroyers. I will actually move this one up as well. It's going to be a bit too short range for me, actually. 48% chance they're behind full cover. I think I'll just take the shot here. Okay, no, so not much. Yeah, I'll just leave that one there. I think that'll do us. Okay, we'll end our turn there. Uh, everyone has pretty much now moved. A bit hard to sort of see what's going on in amongst the um, amongst the building here. So we'll uh, see what the enemy gets up to. Here they come. So we're getting Overwatch there. It's probably not the best Overwatch, but anyway. Okay, they're trying to get into this side. We're not seeing exactly what's going on. Here comes the Battle Sisters. So these have got... Um, yeah, there we go. We're doing some, some damage. Some of them are down. We want to do as much damage in here as possible. They're doing a limited damage back. These aren't all that strong. They can get a head of steam up, though, so uh, we do have to be a little bit careful of them. They've just turned on their armor piercing. Here comes one of their rhinos. The rhinos are very strong in terms of their armor but not very good in terms of their uh, combat abilities like they they they're a, a transport unit you see they're hard only six hit points in total with that particular attack that they brought in is that more flagellants i think it is here they come here they come now we're not seeing anything too powerful. We sort of broke their back, I think, in the last one. This is this is why we did the Overwatch, where it's got to be very explicit. Because we're going to do a lot of damage. Now that should have wiped them out. There we go. We wasted a lot of a lot of movement there, unfortunately. Okay, they've just turned on their armor piercing. And now we now we get our overwatch with the other units. This is good stuff. So it's trying. But we've managed to kill off a lot of them before they got, got in there. And they're also firing across now they'll do a bit of damage against my um, against my my warriors. I'll just follow it in from where they actually are. So going after after my um, immortals. The immortals are really really strong, really powerful. There's more coming. All right, all right, all right. So I think it's now our turn again. No, there's still more movement. There's still more units uh, arriving. Here they come, there's heaps of them. Just going up against our uh, immortals again.
Again, not much, but we're sort of in behind the um, behind the cover there a little bit. So it's mainly, mainly low-level units that they're going to have. There'll, there'll be a lot of them, though. That will be the thing. So only sort of small numbers. Here we go, another another one coming in. Just read off the camera. I can rotate, but I, it doesn't like moving. Yeah, there's more, a lot more coming. Wave upon wave, here they come. So these, yeah, these did a bit of damage there against one unit. So we really need to damage what they can do initially. And I think I'll play a little bit not as cautious as I normally would. So normally I would be firing, moving back, firing, moving back, and sort of almost kiting my way back through the actual combat itself. I think it's going to be easier to see us see this in through here now. So we've got the Lich Guard, which can uh, attack these, do a lot of damage. So let's just go and do that. We didn't get to kill it. So uh, that's all that that one can do at this stage. Then we've got the Overlord. The Overlord has got a uh, Staff of Light. So there's, that will kill that one off. This one's got two action points. I don't think there's anything else I can really bring in that's going to be able to do the job here. Um, that's a Staff of Life, that's a melee, ra a melee range, so I might just use this. We also have Command Protocol, toggle between two Command Protocols, so Protocol for, for Passing Seasons, so plus one movement, plus one ranged armor. Protocol for Unbending Wheel, plus 100% momentum gains. So I won't worry about that, I'll just leave that one where that is. Uh, we'll just go Staff of Light, and we'll move this one in. Okay, that one's down. So we bring that one forward. We've still got more movement. Now, um, I probably will go back a little bit, I think. What sort of shots do you get? It's a 46% of there. It's behind full cover. I might as well just start to do some, some damage in here, I think. So limited damage there. These Locust Heavy Destroyers, the optimum range is 6, which would be about there. Yeah, 66%, let's just take it. Didn't do a hell of a lot of damage. This one here is optimal range of 3, which would make it this one here. So not a hell of a lot. Um, we'll move this one back now. Move these back. Can you, how far can you go? You can go all the way back to there. Oops, wrong, facing the wrong way. <laughs> okay. There we are. Down you come. And uh, we'll just move this guy in behind as well. The Overlord. And that way he's just got his protection here with the Lich Guard. Okay, that'll do us uh, for those. Then we've got these, the Immortals. You can fire at those. So it's not going to help me that much. So I think I'll just go and fire here. A bit of damage, and then we'll move this one back. as well bring these up so our um, 
our flayed ones will then sort of come down and uh, just do a bit more damage. And I'll leave these pretty much in the way. So these will probably get destroyed, I would guess. Don't think I can move them off anywhere else. No, that's pretty much it for them. Uh, right, back over here. So what can we get this time? We've just got a small group of these. This would be better with these guys. So let's just move these across. All right, still alive. Gets rid of that one. And in terms of the other damage that we can do, I think if I just move this one up and across. So it just killed off a few more. Bring that one back again. And then we've just got our Immortals. And the Immortals, again, I just want to get a, um, a bit of a shot on these. So that's a 75, that's a 77. Let's just go for the middle. And this, one, this way we're going to get the splash damage in around the others as well. And uh, we'll just leave that one where that is. Move that one diagonally through. 71, 76. I'll still go this way. So we're yeah, destroying them as we go. Now these. Yep, that will still be okay there. Okay, that's wiped out that little group. And then we've still got this group as well in here, which we do want to bring up. Yeah, I've got 74, 72. Yeah, let's go this way. That way we get the splash damage against these as well. Nice. God, these are strong. They are strong. We'll just bring, bring this one back in again and just get ready for the next round. So we've just got to weaken them as much as we can. So we've pretty much now used up all of these. We haven't used these flares. I'll just move these across as well. Um, the Immortals have moved. They've done what they need to do. These guys have all moved now. No more action points there. These uh, still should have their shots. So I'll just go and have a bit of a look to see what they can get up to. Now we've got our flayers are here. Yeah, there's nothing much else we can do there at this stage, but that's that's the objective. Just bring that one forward. We'll kill off these guys. Just do as much damage as in here as we can. Still going. Just get those into that position at the top. These are mortals. And I will charge these. All right, there's still got one alive. We won't go out of our way with that one there. 
death marks. So uh, let's just go back across this other side. And the warriors, I could actually bring the warriors around. Let's just move them up. I might actually just leave these back as well, these these groups. Just put these into Overwatch again. For any movement, I'll just leave them where they are as well. I won't change those. Now these are now locked in with each other, so I won't actually move them off. And that's pretty much it. We still have these destroyers. I'll, I'll just move these up. Some of the death mark there. Yeah, 48%, 99%. Okay, we'll go that way. Just a bit of damage, that's all. Okay, so we'll end our turn there. Go into Overwatch with some of the units, not very many. the end of that one. <laughs> I think it's going to be easier to look around this side. Now they just put their armor piercing bullets on, which is going to hurt. Our, our forces, the Necron forces, have got a fairly good armor. It looks amazingly good, doesn't it? Really, the game. And again, if there's something I wanted to stop, I can always just go. I won't do it yet, but I'll just I'll look for something that's going to be fairly interesting, and then I'll I'll try to stop it so we can actually just get like a an action shot of exactly something uh, for this one. Yeah, these are not all that interesting. The retaliation is going to kill that one off. Or it should have, but it didn't. <laughs> they tried, they tried, but it just didn't actually work. Here we go. Another group coming in. So if I stop that right there, I can then go in and actually start to um, have a look in much more detail if there was something that was going to be fairly interesting with the actual attack that was going in, but it doesn't look like it's all that, it's not going to look all that interesting. Anyway, that's the uh, the different groups sort of uh, coming into the actual attack and through the side. But again, it's just beautiful. The, the actual game itself is just stunningly beautiful. So there we are. It's their flagellant sort of uh, coming in to attack our forces. But uh, we won't do that one. We'll just press backspace again and just watch the attack as it comes in. Only for limited damage. Well, there we are. So they're firing through the middle there. Again, nothing much really. Against our, um, our guys, we knew that they were going to get targeted. destroyed I think yep so they destroyed that group that was just on these steps so they're getting they've got now got three points the target is to get to 100 so they've got three points by killing off those guys so we still have to be careful I mean, not overly careful. <laughs> We've still got 97 points to play with, but um, yeah, if they can, if they can wipe out my guys, 
that will be how they they win. We we win points by securing these locations, but we really have to destroy a lot of them first. So it really is just a battle of attrition at this point in time. We'll be able to bring a lot of a lot of combat in, in um, into the middle of the map. Okay, here we go. So it's now our time again. Let's just go back this other side. Now we've got the Immortals here. Um, I'll be wanting to bring them back a little bit just to get a, a better a better angle. Just bring it back to here. That should kill this one. Yeah, there it goes. Not enough to finish all of those off. We do have a few shots in here. That's a 57, 74. Let's go this way. So that was good. Keep it looking at the other side. I can't get a reasonable shot there. Um, just go back to the immortals that are here. Sixty percent, sixty-three percent. We'll just go with central. Just to split it up amongst all of these as well. Then we've got the warriors. Forty-nine, forty-eight. Okay, it's now 64. A little bit more. Okay, so if there's only two in there, there's uh, four in that, five in that one, six in that one actually. Let's just go and attack it with this. It's more the sisters of battle that are the I guess the ones that we that we are most concerned about. Um, these guys are still doing well. That group is still fairly fairly full. There's twenty nine percent there. I'm not going to be able to get a good shot with this one. They're behind full cover. I'll bring this one in with the um, with the staff of light. Just do that again. All right, got another two. That one's just down to three now. As is this one. I think we'll take these in against this group. A little bit coming back the other way. It's only 28% there. The death marks, I'm going to need to bring that somewhere else, I think, because it's, we just don't have the angle. Don't really have a target for them. 26%, 56%. Yeah, I'll, look, I'll take it. Missed completely. Hardly could do anything. Actually, that one there, I can at least get the ones at the behind. Just a little bit. Get rid of another couple. That will help. Now, I haven't been using this one here. Oh, sorry. Where is it? This one in here, inside here. 
Uh, I think I'll move this one back out of the way because it won't survive. Bring these Praetorians down. That kills that one off. Now I've got the um, the hex mark destroyer here as well, which we can just bring down and just finish off these as well. These battle sisters. Yeah, I'll just go after that one. I could I could take it up against the rhino, but the um, I want to, I, the, the rhino doesn't, doesn't do enough damage to really warrant that. Okay, we'll just get rid of a few of those. That then leaves us with this group back over this side. 87% is good. I'll get two shots with this one, two action points. Nice, just down to one. Tomb Blades, got a 71% chance there. 66. Okay, I'll just take it straight against this one here. We've got the Immortals. 65, 69, 71. Let's take it this way. Death Marks. Should kill both of those. It has. That's good. Um, these are mortals. Well, really, there's not really a hell of a lot left. Um, back in this other side that we can sort of see. There's some still coming back up this other way over here. Whoops, where are we? Which we could actually just bring this one up. Get the shot against these. There's yeah, still more over this way as well. Killed off another couple. Um, then we've got the warriors. Warriors can move up. So we might as well now start to move in to take the uh, take the objectives. That one's out. Me better shots there. Oh, we've already shot fired with that one. And with that one. <clears throat> Bring this one up into the um, into the middle because we'll need to start to make use of this one, and I'll do the same with this tomb blades as well. That'll be important for the next round. In the meantime, we can just keep on pushing. Now that one there. Um, we've got the death marks. We're not going to get a great shot there. 42, 42. Better off bringing this one back. Seventy-two percent now. That's good. That's good going. Let's move. This one hasn't done anything just yet, so I'll move this one up. Finish off this one. Another one down. So that's moved, that's moved. I'll just press the P key. Okay, we've still got this unit here, which is taking a bit of damage against these guys, but let's just go in, in against these again. A little bit coming back our way. There's only three of them left. Uh, press P, so we've still got these guys. So I'll just move, I'll leave them in behind for now. Oh, hang on, no, these can still get a shot. 
Yeah, I will, t I will let them come back up. It's low quality, but... And enough to kill it off. That's good. That's good. Just move that one back in behind there, back in behind the cover. Just press P, so that that one, that's the only one left. Okay, so we'll now end our turn and just see what they do through the middle there. So they've now lost a lot of units. There's not much left. A little bit of damage coming back their way. Let them finish off next turn. Not enough to kill him. There we go. They destroyed that one. So this is another one. Oh no! Look, I won't. I won't. I won't uh, check it out. So it went up against our warriors. The warriors are, um, are fairly weak. There's more coming in. Yep, going after the warriors again. Yeah, they should be able to kill that one off. Actually, that that group with the rhinos. Yep. Yeah, it's gone. So we can now see that they've got now got a score of six. All right, here we go. Here we go. So we've now got the um, the different groups coming back in. Let's just finish off. What have they got there? That's uh, going to be very easy to finish off with this one. One's down. Get our group in here to get this one. Didn't finish it. Good. Overlord, we'll take the Overlord up now and we'll start to sort of move into this middle section. There's not much left. So not a lot of damage, but... Um, yeah, it's a save. These these are quite strong. A little bit. <laughs> All right, the next one that we have, uh, the warriors can't quite move up to there. Um, we want to finish off this group in here, and we do actually have a group of death marks and immortals. Um, Let's just fire at these. Let's move this one around onto the uh, onto that location. So that should be one of the points. All right. So capture in two turns. So we so that will now be something that we can can protect. Just move that one through into there. This one here, we didn't get much um, 
there's nothing much else coming up this way. We'll, we'll start to head up towards the other, other location. I do get a shot there. I can hover over into the into any of these. Let's just hover this way. That's one of the great things about these is they can move pretty much anywhere. Yeah, not a hell of a lot of damage. Start to move into these now. Again, very little damage. this with an overwatch. Actually I'll just leave it on with an auto auto overwatch. Scorpec destroyers can move across this side. Lich guards can just move up to protect the commander or just up this towards this way. They've now already moved anyway so we'll just move these up. Death marks have still got a shot. So we'll move these up and out. 77%, 76%, 75%. We'll just take it up against the Battle Sisters. We haven't had much to deal with actually here, just sort of basic units really. Now these Immortals don't have a shot anymore. Just bring these across. And just finish off these. There's still the Battle Sisters around the corner there, which we don't have to really worry too much about. couple of groups in there. 82% we'll just go for those. Hang on, I'm just trying to get the air right angle. God, it's, it's difficult trying to uh, spot what's going on here. out that group. Now these will do big damage against like the rhinos and things. So I think I'll bring this one down so we can get like a, a good shot against either one of these. Yeah, we're going to get a 100% hit, uh, hit chance. Actually, that's a different rhino than the one I was targeting. In that case, I'll go against the Battle Sisters. up. Got rid of those. Well, there's not much left really other than the other than the big rhinos. Now, I think if we destroy everything uh, we get we get what we need so uh, we'll just see how we go. Just keep on pressing P. Just going through to the other various units that still have still got movement. I'll move this one up into here. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad damage there. This hex mark destroyer. We'll just bring this one across, and it's about as good as a place as it can find, I think. Let's see if I can take out um, this one here. Eighty-eight percent. That's a hundred percent. I'll take this one. And 
again. All right, that's good. They're okay where they are. These are mortals. Um, gonna take a bit of damage, but we'll still just bring them through. They will survive. Just weaken them. Yeah, we'll just move these up. Yep, we're back to there again. Oh, hang on, we've still got a few of these. All right, these guys here have still got a shot. In that case, I'll take them up into here. I think we'll get a shot this way. Okay, so we're swarming in towards the objectives now. Good shot, good shot. And then these just stay where they are. All right, so that'll do us. We'll end our turn there. Just watch what they get up to. There won't be much more coming back our way. Just trying to move back so we get a free shot. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> She may have headed that right down actually with the others that we did fire with it. That's just warriors. Yeah, here they come. So that's the only other group of that are left there. Just against our immortals, which are much stronger than our basic troops. They may get rid of... Oh no, they're going after the the, um, the flayed ones that, at the back there. They are correct to hide. Okay, so we'll just go back in. Actually, just go space. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, okay, okay. So we've got... Th this guy here can actually now come back onto here. Let's move in here and just get a, a shot with these. And we'll do another one. Alrighty. Then we've got our uh, just our normal old warriors. They'll do some good damage here as well. Still alive. Got immortals, which can should be able to kill that one off. That one's gone. Yep, capture in two turns. Got capture in one turn back over here. Yeah, it's got capture two turns. Oh, I've got to click it. I've got to click it so that it actually does it. So it's got to secure it. Sorry, I, I did that one wrong. <laughs> um, which means I, yep, so we'll capture that one. Two turns left there. Um, now we've got the next one, which is back in here. So we'll move that one back up under the pouring oil. So we'll capture that as well. And um, we've got this over here as well. close not quite enough to finish that one off <clears throat> those death marks um, if we move them back into there we should get a good shot actually they're going to be good against these against the rhino yeah 78% I will take it against these the 
Phoenix Mark Destroyer. I can just move these up. Um, I will go into here. I won't. I'll just start the process of securing this one. So just bypass these. We'll capture that one in two turns. Immortals this way. Nothing much left. Should kill this one off. Okay, only 35, that wasn't that good. Uh, that one's done. Got more immortals here. down. So all we've got left really is just this one now. Now I'm not sure if the game will just give up at the end of this, but that's the end of the uh, Adeptus Sororitas. Got. Bring the Scorpic Destroyer in. There we are. Now, is that it? We lost a bit of hit points there with the explosion of that one. Um, that's pretty much. All we need to do, I think, is capturing that one. We've only got one that we that we don't actually have. I don't think there's any other forces that we need to really worry about. I'm not seeing any other enemies anywhere. So we'll just end our turn. So they're still capturing. Two turns left. Oh, there is movement still. So there was still something at the back. Well, let's see what we're up against at, at the back here. Well, we're not seeing anything. Not sure if we move off if if it if that sort of stops it from doing anything. I might just test that and see what actually ha does happen. Oh no, it's not going to do it. Okay, it won't it won't let us. I don't think it will. Will it? Yeah, no, can't can't do it. That's okay. Just see what else we can find. up. Just 
just in case there is anything else. We did see movement, so let's just leave it where we are there. So we've now got all of all four points are now being targeted. We'll end our turn. Oh, there we go. There was something over there. Yet more battle sisters. Oh, there's a few of them actually. A fair few. So it's not over yet. It's not over yet at all. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Okay, I'm glad I brought the others up. Here they come. There we go. We've now captured a fair few of these points. Which is great. So we've now got these under our control, and we've just got the one more to get, and then we get it. So we're at 75 at the moment. Uh, we do need to bring these up. I can't quite get the what we need there. Let's get these ready. Stuck here. Actually, this one's still actually pretty good. 49%, 74%. It's not bad. Bring these up. them through. These aren't going to really be part of anything. Just use all the action points now. do much at all so just just on the off chance that they come back this way at all bring that one up I think that'll do us actually and um, just let them have their turn now doing enough damage. They've just turned on the armor piercing though. Yeah, that's doing a lot more. A hell of a lot more. I think we'll still be okay. So they should flick on theirs. Yep, armor piercing. Yeah, big damage. But I think we've got it one. There we are. Yeah, we've got our 100 points. 
Awesome. Okay, so we we capture the uh, the, the siege is over. I, th I think they may get some units that that spawn in, that, which is what the, the last group actually was. So uh, we'll proceed with that. That's great. And that is now the end of the Adeptus Sororitas in this particular run. Yep, so they're now down and we now have got their control. Now we don't get anything benefit, no, no big benefit from that one. So we would then be just up against the um, the orcs at this point in time, which we should be able to deal with relatively effectively. I mean, they're, um, they do have, they, they're encroaching down, but I think I'll just leave it here. This one does, it gives a good feel for what the game does bring uh, with the new planetary supremacy mode. And it is certainly so much better than what it was before. Um, it really is like chalk and cheese um, between where it is now. And it's just going to get better and better as well. So this is not the final version. This is just where it currently is, where they thought, hey, look, it's probably worth having a look at. And yes, it is worth having a look at from where we were previously. It's very, very cool. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode or this series here. <laughs> so what's that? Three hours, actually. It was longer than I thought it would be to, to actually do all of this. Uh, anyway, it, that does give a good feel of what of what uh, Battle Sector now has with the Planetary Supremacy, uh, along with a lot of the different DLCs. We didn't actually get to look at the Orc DLC, which has just come in. Uh, but that is, uh, yeah, of course, that's a, a different, completely different sort of group. These are much more melee sort of focused and much more sort of short range. Necrons are more long range with their with their um, with their uh, sort of ranged attacks. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really, 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 it's the game, as I say, improved enormously. So um, yeah, so anyway, big thumbs up from me as to, as to where it's heading. And uh, I'm just gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next. I'll, I'll catch you around in another video. Ha, ha, ha.